what's up guys it's the tech gamer here today i'm gonna be talking about um uh my phone which is the samsung galaxy core prime smg 360t1 metro pcs version and the samsung galaxy core prime smg 360t from t-mobile um a variant okay so um uh, before we get started, there are going to be some prerequisites because I, um, the, the reason I'm going to be talking about my phone is because I put a custom ROM on my phone. The custom ROM is ASP 3.1. Um, so yeah, the, the, uh, the requisites that you'll need is a unlocked bootloader, twerp recovery installed, and root access. Now, root access meaning a custom kernel that will give you root access, not the SuperSuit files. However, you will need the SuperSuit app and root checker from the Google Play Store. Now, again, before we get started, if my voice sounds a little weird or messed up, that's because I'm a little sick and my nose is stuffy right now. So please bear with me. Um, and also. I have a um an account with Android Filehost with all the files you'll need to um just in case your phone does get soft bricked or stuck in a boot loop you could restore it back to normal using Odin and these um custom and the stock um software um I in the in those files you'll also see the twerp recovery image you'll also see um super sue files just in case you want to use super sue files to root your phone but um i should just not using super sue files because um the custom kernel you need to root your phone it has to make se for android status say permissive and the super sue files won't make that happen so let's get uh started with the video now i will leave a link in the description for the custom kernel and um the twerp recovery image and and um and for an app that will unlock the bootloader for the samsung galaxy core prime smg 360t1 and smg 360t for metro pcs and t-mobile now let's get started now this uh this custom rom like i said it's called asp 3.1 um it the it came with a custom launcher. Uh I forget what the custom launcher is, but I deleted that and I put um the Google Now launcher on it so that way it works uh, that way it works better and more it's like it feels w way better to me and it looks a whole lot better than just a custom launcher that you don't like. And um as you see this custom launcher like Google Now is running Android 6.0. And my phone on the stock software is Android 5.1.1. Now let's go into settings. Now, as you see, the settings on my phone look a whole lot different than what you would see in my um, new and some of my older videos that I talk about my phone and how I go into my settings. It looks a whole lot different. You see these quick setting toggles. You see your connections, your device, your personal stuff, and your system. If you go down to your um about phone, I mean about device, and you go down, you'll see your model number, and it says Android 5.1.1, right? And the kernel I'm running is on uh, May 3, 1049. I don't know what that means, but the kernel is called Trap Kernel by Shiny Side number one. The build number says ASP 3.1, so that's the name of the kernel. Uh, I mean, that's the name of the custom ROM. And see where it says SE for enter status? It says permissive, right? That's because the trap kernel is um is giving the phone root access and is making the SE for Android status say permissive. Now that's how you get the a um uh, the custom ROM on here. If the a if SE for Android status does not say permissive, then your phone will get stuck in a boot loop because 
and that's how ASP is able to get on your phone and make it work on your phone because SE for Android status needs to be permissive. Now, let's actually go in the app drawer. Now, as you see, you see the Android 6.0 little uh, transition where you go into the app drawer. Um, oh, also, I almost forgot. I will leave a link in the description box down below for um, uh, Google application or GAPS. Uh, uh, I, uh, and, um, well, the gaps I'm going to be leaving in the description is this, it's just, uh, regular, like, Google applications, this small package of Google applications. I will leave a link in the description box down below for, um, all the Google applications, but the one I'm going to be putting in the description box also is just Google applications for you to get Google Play and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, and then I will be the one with all the full applications will you'll be getting the Google Play Store, YouTube, um, the uh, clock right here that this one, the one that's in purple, you'll be getting the um, Android 6.0 contacts app. Uh, you'll be getting docs, drive, you'll be getting this app called Fit. Um, you'll be getting the Gmail, the Google Now launcher search thing. You'll be getting Google Settings, Google Plus, Google Hangouts, Keep. Um, you'll be getting Maps, Messenger, um, Photos, Play Games, Play Movies, Play Music, Play News, Play Store, Sheets. You'll be getting Slides, Street View. Sorry for that notification. You'll be getting... Um, Studio, however, will not come with it. And that's something you have to get from the Google Play Store. Um, you'll be getting Google uh, Wallet and YouTube. YouTube Music is something you will not get um uh, with the um Google uh apps or Gaps. So yeah, like I said, I will leave a link in the description box down below. For the Google applications. Now, um, when you're uh, flashing this ROM, you want to flash the first um, Google applications, the one that has the small amount of Google applications, and then flash the one with the all the Google applications that I'll be leaving in the description box down below. And then um, later on, I'm actually right now I'm going to be downloading um another version of the Google applications um so I can get more Google applications on my phone if it does work um if it doesn't I'll have to flash my phone back to stock and then do the process on my phone to get the uh, ASP 3.1 back on my phone um now let's go to the settings again As you see, you have your custom, not what, well, not your custom, you have your sound and notifications. You have your display and your applications. They're that's all basic. Now, oh, I almost forgot. Now, uh, with the ASP 3.1, all the bloatware, which is um all the apps that you get from Metro PCS, which is the Metro PCS internet browser. All the Metro PCS apps, they will all be gone, and you won't be able to get them back unless you flash your phone back to stock. Now, now saying that, now that I'm saying that, um, I really wish I had the uh, uh, Metro PCS launcher. If anyone is, if anyone has an APK for the Google Now launcher or is able to get the APK, uh um for the metro pcs internet app please send it to me put a link in the description box down below and now i'm talking about the new the newest version of the metro pcs um internet um apk or internet browser uh if you go to your personal you have your regular stuff your 
wallpaper, location, locks, lock screen, and security. You have here um, accessibility, accounts, backup, and reset, and system. You have your regular options as well. Now, um, before I forget again, um, you will need to have your developer options unlocked to do this. What you want to do is go down, go to your build number, tap on it until it says you are now the developer, which means you have to tap on it seven or eight times until your phone says you are now a developer. With your developer option not being unlocked, you have to go into your developer options, um, check OEM unlocking like that. Just turn on OEM unlocking and turn on USB debugging like that. Don't mind this whole thing. Just click OK. And then from there, you'll be now able to run commands from the computer to so you can get ASP 3.1 on your phone. That's it for today, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.